That's yeah, right. they are. Video game. I look forward to working for each one of those kids <laughs> next couple of years. It is a bit of a homecoming. The new Arden Hill swim coach comes home to the club where his swimming career started more than 50 years ago. Okay, so Sabrina is live with Jeff Float. We're not making that up. That oh. is his last name. And some of, some of his swimmers, <laughs> his name is perfect. It's perfect. Yes. That is his last name, and it fits perfectly. And he knew it. His parents already knew from the start that he was going to be an Olympic gold medalist swimmer. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for joining us here this morning, Jeff. Now, this right here is your first pool. This is where you first started training. It made you the star that you are today out on the pool. I mean, years later, you win a gold medal in the 84 Olympics, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and now you're back to where you started to coach. Yes. How does that uh -huh. feel for you? Well, you know, it's kind of a full circle thing for me. You know, I've been coaching for 24 years here in Sacramento, and, and uh, this opportunity just came up at the right place at the right time. And, and I've actually swum about 35,000 miles in my career. A lot of those laps in that pool with yeah. uh, Sherm Shavor. And now looking back at it, and I mean, you've made so many memories here, but you made other memories throughout the world, clearly, um, especially in Los Angeles. But I want to talk to you about the 1980s Olympics, because if you don't know, that is when uh, the government boycotted the teams going out there to Moscow, mm -hmm. and uh, you still had worked. You put so much time and effort into that. Yeah. So how was that feeling of hearing, hey, we're no longer going? Well, I, people remember that was kind of the year when we had the miracle on ice in Lake Placid with the Russian, you know, on the American eye hockey and, uh, you know, patriotism was all time high in February of that year. And then in April is when the boycott was and we were doing our trials in June. So we were kind of approaching our peak uh, and uh, when we learned that we weren't going. So it was, it was a, a shock yeah. uh, to, to all the athletes and, um, you know, the trials. Were kind of anticlimactic uh, down in Irvine, California, and so it was, um, you know, it was kind of, kind of like, uh, you know, it was, it was tough. Yeah, and uh, you know, we're gonna hang with you for another hour, and uh, we're gonna be talking to him about his accomplishment on the 84 Olympics a little bit more, and also about the classes that he's going to be teaching right over here, coaching right over here, and maybe he'll get to coach me. For a little while, I what? did bring my swimsuit. Yes, okay. I am ready for the cold. Okay. You can't see it because I have my cozy jacket on because <laughs> I need this. But okay. get ready for this. I'm not. I don't know. I don't know. This is where I hear that Olympic medalists are made. Yeah. So yeah. maybe it could be a thing. Maybe. <laughs> Jeff Flood is a huge name in the swim world. So I'm. You're in good hands, Sabrina. Good hands.